Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Wardrant and welcome to another inbox review video. What we have here is quite a nice big one here. It is in 148 scale, it is by Hobby Boss and it is the EA18G Growler. Um, now with this kit they released it in 2021 but they did release quite a nice couple of versions all in quick concession. Uh, we had the um, FA18E. Uh, Super Hornet and then we had the FA18F Super Hornet so you've got the nice single seater and the two seater and to go with it as well we've got the Grailer as well now so you've got a nice selection there it's around about £65 RRP so really not bad for what is a new tool a nice modern jet um, and you do get a lot of plastic for your money uh, just a quick look around at this um, we've got loads of actual cool markings that actually come with it as well showing off a little bit of the detail also um, what else do we get showing off the kind of weapons we get with this and decals and photo etch so um, you know looking pretty pretty good but let's take a look inside and see you know what we sort of get for that kind of money um, as you can see it's a big box with a lot of stuff in here so our first piece just here we have um, basically the top of the fuselage section and what we can see let's take a look at that um, surface detail to start off with right we do have you know nice recess panel lines and recess rivets it is pretty well detailed, as you can see, pretty nice detail as well. Uh, just at the back, just here, those look really, really nice and sharp. Coming back at the engine section, um, it doesn't look like as we go over that 90 degree angle that we lose detail. Um, one thing to note on this, we do have these sort of, um, where it sort of gets manufactured and it comes off of um, what it's on and you get these little tabs kind of going on and these have been sort of cut off at uh, in the manufacturing process so we've got that nasty one there another one on the opposite side we've got one just here this one's kind of shallow so um yeah you're gonna have to sand it down potentially fill it um, and get that all nice and smooth to get those out bit of a shame but you know it's not terrible but surface detail looking pretty nice and sharp and pretty decent um, we do have our cockpit section as well just here all right we, here is our cockpit tub which does have some um, you know pretty nice detail out of the box we do have our instrument display panel just here again you know not too bad straight out of the box it'd be nice to see if we've got any decals for inside those displays as well as a few little odds and sods sort of running around there um ejector pin marks um you know we do have some but i don't believe you see that on that side so we should be all good um there is a lot of sprues in here and i don't want to sort of look at every single one but we do have another sprue just here which um has a few bits in there um you know we sort of saw the surface detail already same with this sprue just here we've got our air intakes just in here um a little bit of landing gear detail uh, if we flip this over just want to check these air intakes they don't have ejector pin marks in there which is good because sometimes you normally do um, moving along um, again we have a couple of sprues here um, all sorts of bits and bobs a couple more instrument display panels and everything going on with that um, this one here we do have our landing gear so we'll uh, have a little quick peek at this one right and what we have here these big big chunky bits of landing gear um, looking at it we don't have any major flash I mean here's a new tool so you know looking good if I flip it over and we'll just check for ejector pin marks which we don't have because we have these little tabs that are sticking out um, and that helps it eject it out rather than have it on the piece so um, good to see them doing that um, uh, we've even got our landing gear here actually it's quite interesting it does does it look like it we've got two two front bits of landing gear i wonder if that's like different um lengths for whenever they're on if they're a little bit different so you've got some different configurations there right uh, and then all a load of little little bits and bobs again all there now this is one of the impressive things about this kit is these 
two bags of duplicate sprues right we have um, in this bag just here um, two duplicate sprues and we've got all sorts of weaponry you know laser guided bombs free fall bombs AGM 88s I do believe um, I think there's even a fuel tank in there we've got triple ejection rack systems right loads and loads of weapons and then to you know add even more we've got another bag here with loads more weapons you know things like sidewinders and um, sparrows you know you name it it's pretty much got it all so really really good to see them actually putting all these weapons in and the ones that you don't use you know what you got a nice bunch of spares for future models um, on this sprue we have our fuselage section right which um, again same lovely level of detail on here you've even got um, some panels that are open and actually you know pretty good detail in there if you want to sort of leave them open a um, little bit of flash just there I mean that's no big deal I haven't seen much but it's only a little bit there um, again more lovely surface detail on there uh, a bit of the bottom part of the fuselage section you know pretty good detail on there as well so really looking good on the detail really looking good on um, eject pin marks flash and all those kind of things we then have this sprue just here which they've got nicely sort of wrapped up to keep nice and safe so um, looking good on the packaging there and what we have here again it's two duplicate sprues but what we have is all our engine sort of area we've got um we do have the option of open or closed on our engine exhausts right and we'll just look at this one just here looking good um even looking good on the inside as well right um all sorts of fans um inside our um, exhaust area as well that does look like that will build up rather rather nicely uh, we do have some pylons right again lovely surface detail to go with that we've got an ejector seat just here also right and that's looking pretty damn good for out of the box um, and again we've got two separate sprues for that um, then we have a bunch of other little little things Again, I ain't going to get them all out of the bags, but yes, we do have some fuel tanks just here, so really nice, makes it nice, look nice and beefy. And we even have, um, <coughs> I do believe these are the sensors, what makes the growler the growler, the whole sensor kind of side of it. I'm sorry, I haven't done much research on that. Um, we do have a nice little bag just here, which is the bottom part of the fuselage section. Again, we do have that lovely surface detail, but then actually quite a nice bit of detail inside where um, our landing gear goes, right? So looking good in there. Opposite side, you know, not really anything to worry about there with ejector pin marks. Ah, and there we have it yet again. We've got another one of these, um, like sort of little pins sticking out here that you need to um, sand back, maybe fill in um, and tidy up, which yeah, you don't normally see that and you don't want to see it, but um, it's, it's not a big deal. It's just one of them. It is something you're going to have to tackle. Um, we'll get one of these um, canopies out. Right, it should be the, the main big one. Again, really nice packaging. Let's just cut this nice and carefully. Right, and let's take a look at our canopy. Nice big one piece canopy. Um, I am feeling a slight bit of a seam line running down there. So, you know, you, you're probably gonna wanna take care of that. If I just hold it up to the light. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not bad. It's not kind of like crystal clear looking through. There's a a slight bit of a ripple in it you know when sometimes you look at um, canopies slight little ripple in it yet yeah, I don't know if you can sort of see but there is a bit of a ripple in it it's not terrible it's just not perfect right uh, but not bad at all with the canopy then we have all our other little bits of goodies now starting off we have our bit of photo etch just some little bits it looks like seat belts mainly going on in, in here um, you know it's not bad 
Uh, maybe a bit gimmicky, but you know, you got some seat belts, so there you go. Um, the decals or decals, right? These are by Hobby Boss, which normally needs stuff like the Mr. Mark setter and softener and stuff. So, um, I you know, I, I don't prefer them, but you know, you can still get get on with them. Um, as you can see, you know, actually really, really colorful, you know, with all this cobras and dragons and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, lots and lots of markings you do get with this. They do look quite good. I mean, you know, you can sort of make out the actual really, really small writing on there um, as well. And um, we do have two nice decal sheets just here which quite cool we do have the decals for you know instrument display panels and stuff if you want to go down that route me personally i'll probably just cut out the um the um tv monitors sort of like that's on there and sort of stick them on and paint the rest personally um, but again lots and lots of cool cool markings there is this little correction just here by the looks of it which is just this tiny little sort of red dot on there um, but there you go you do get that um, so let's have a look at the instructions and how this is sort of going to go together well first off um, we do have our stencil call outs right so a nice couple of stencils on there and then we have a load of these different different markings which um, hopefully you appreciate you know we've got some um, you know like a standard sort of one then we have these sort of like um, really nice colorful ones as well with color call outs for loads and loads of different manufacturers out there as well just to help you along and then we've got some more just here Ooh, that one's quite nice actually um, yeah really nice colorful as well as um, all the weapons as well so really really nice on that sense um, starting off with this we do have um, you know put in the ejector seats together the cockpit together the bottom part of the landing gear and bringing that front bit of the fuselage halves together so it does seem to sort of get you there and does seem to explain it quite nicely showing you where decals go as well um, and if we just carry on with this uh, we do start off with the top section and sort of bringing all these bits together the bottom parts of the the wing section seems quite straightforward um, then we bring our front nose sort of fuselage section into that. So not looking too bad so far. Um, I'm saying this because I know that FA-18s, because of the way they're shaped and things like tornadoes and stuff, they're shaped in a way that makes it a little bit of a nightmare for manufacturers to get nice fit. So you do have to be careful with these and test fit loads. Um, nice to see that we do have um, the radar that you can have open as well. Um, moving along, yes, I mean, it's showing the cockpit as well, open and closed configuration, um, putting the nose cone on. Then we have our engine section. Let's maybe bring you in a little bit closer, right? Ah, now, this is where I'm going to anticipate, I mean, with any FA-18, you know, this is where you have problems, you know, um, as much as the manufacturers try and get a good fit, you know, it's not always going to be the best. So I don't know how this is going to get together, but generally you've got to be careful around this area. This is where we have like the intakes and the exhaust area. You know, it's lots of pieces coming together and you've got to get them lined up and looking good, potentially filling and sanding and all that sort of nasty, nasty stuff. Uh, but yeah, the engines look quite good um, <clears throat> and they kind of nicely come together as the, the the intakes and the engine exhausts right and then we have to put this bottom part of the fuselage onto the top part and again that's where you're going to sort of find the problem so yeah big take your time be careful around this area hopefully hobby dot boss has done a really really good job then we have um, the things like landing gear a few little bits and bobs pretty sort of straightforward and again it's just you know seems to be quite clearly showing you where everything goes we've got the two different options of front landing gear which is a nice touch uh, and looks pretty straightforward uh, wheel well doors you know um, you know what there's nothing really to write down about here um, things like flaps slats ailerons all those kind of things I mean they are separate so you can probably have a little bit of movement and play in there to put it in what sort of display you want to so that looks quite good and still again looking quite straightforward right um then we have like these uh, i think they're like sensor pods or something there's a bunch of sensors that go on this which makes it the, the growler sort of version 
um, and I can see that and it does, I wonder if you could have it, oh yeah you can have it, um, so that your, your wing tips are folded, folding or open, so um, nice touch with that also, just to have that little extra then we've got all the lovely loads and loads of um, pylons to so have loads and loads of weapons uh, and all that cool 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 stuff um, again the exhausts open or closed right and the final bit again it does seem like everything does move and you do get a ladder as well to go with that um, and then we move along with the weapons which are pretty sort of straightforward how they go together and it's nice how they do kind of show you a bit of a weapons configuration so all in all do you know what that's a lot of kit that's a lot of plastic for your money i mean i know it's 65 pounds but you know what fa18s then they're not really um on the cheap side i know um Ravel's kind of a cheap version in 148 but it's not really the best best kit out there um you know it's pretty much being sort of has a go away um, although I do think that uh, Ming has just bought one out as well so um, got quite a bit of choice here but hopefully this goes together well not a bad price um, you know surface details fantastic no nasty ejector pin marks not really any flash anywhere you do get a little bit of photo etch with it um, you know so it's definitely a big thumbs up for um, here at Genesis models and fingers across it goes to work together rather rather well but apart from that hopefully you have enjoyed so as always until next time my name is Bob Wardrin Genesis models and I'll catch you around.